would you agree that if it's not your DNA, it's not your choice? Yes. Because if you have a baby in you, it's that baby's vagina, not your vagina. I so never want be, one. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. You guys, we'll be reacting to Charlie's kick shares his hot take on abortion right guys let's get straight into that hi my name is erica i'm from long island new york i it love is... the name erica thank you i was homeless a year ago yeah, i'm sorry to hear that you were homeless i'm not anymore so yeah, it, go, it praise turns god around. good yeah. for you god bless. and there's hope for everybody yeah i went through a lot of really gnarly things being homeless um if i had enough time to tell you everything i would i never ever want children for myself i have severe mental health issues and i suffer from depression attempted suicides so i have some dark history and um i know for a fact that i was not meant to put on this earth to have children. I do understand where you stand with abortion. I do think it should be a choice, but up to a certain time. Do you think that we should just ban it all together? So I'm 100% pro-life. Uh, would you agree that if it's not your DNA, it's not your choice? Yes. Because if you have a baby in you, it's that baby's vagina, not your vagina. I so never want be, one. <laughs> I'm just saying, I if know. you were, theoretically. I know. Okay. Going back to what you said, though, I think you're somewhat selling yourself short. Because okay. look how long you've grown in a year. You I went know. from homeless to here. I know. Imagine how much you could grow to one day be a mother. Now, you might say, you don't know me, blah, blah, blah. No, that's fine. But don't live under the bigotry of low expectations. I'm not going to. So if the story you tell yourself is that, hey, I can't ever be a mom, then that's who you're going to be. I'm a cat mom. It's okay. That's fair. Hey, you, you're living a good life. You were I homeless am. a year ago. You're I not am. anymore, right? So yes. praise God. The story you tell yourself is who you become. What you aim at is what you hit. Just think about Much that. Much love and respect to you. But you're just like me. We're blunt. We can smoke the truth, you know? We're yeah, so I, blunt. We can I, smoke I, the I truth. I don't smoke. <laughs> that's okay. And I, don't, I don't recommend people smoking. But oh, come on. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> no worries. Thanks. Guys, this was fun and short. But like, I'll say this. Like, I believe abortion is wrong. But like, I feel there are people out there. There are circumstances that happen and in some cases you just think about it. But the truth is that it's wrong and we can't take away the truth. But there's still I'll be honest, there are some scenarios where some people you just have to do it. And it's painful, it's hurtful, but like we will not take away that. Well I, I won't say they should legalize it. But I feel the penalty should not be really that strict because I feel people have some choices they want to make and let's remove religion. If you remove religion, I, I don't see reason why abortion shouldn't be legal though, if we remove religion. But based on religion, like, so people still would do it because they feel like God is still going to forgive you. Yes, that's a fact. But like, it's still wrong. There's nothing like, like, it's wrong and it's wrong. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Let's